The next step in our video is going to be linking our armature up to the individual pieces of mesh. So when I animate the armature, the mesh will bend with it. I was going to go through and name all of the individual bones, but I realized that would be frightfully boring, so I did that ahead of time. I'll just click on one of the bones and I'll show you where you can edit the names, and then if you wish to do that, you would know how to do it. So I'll just click on the window, activate it, click on the bone and then I'll bring open the Properties tab, by hitting N, and at the bottom of the Properties tab you'll find uh, the item with its name. I've already named it left, uh, sorry, a leg armature. I have an arm armature and a leg armature. I'm just going to hit the Z key here to break the mesh in so we can see the bones a little better there. Hit the Tab key to go into Edit, and then as I select the different bones you can see that they uh, all have appropriate names attached to them, so you can just click on that and change it to whatever you want. So, there we go. So I hit tab key to get out of that, Z key to back in. So now we want to attach the mesh to the bones, and you do that through parenting. So I'm just going to position the legs here. Actually, I'm going to hide everything above the legs just to make it a little bit cleaner to see what's going on. So to do that, hit the B key, that's the box. Select everything above the legs, and press H. Oops didn't select what I wanted, so Control uh, h will hide things, and then Alt-H will bring them back into view. So let's uh, go back to Z mode, Z here, so we can see the wireframe, and just try that again. Pressing the B key to draw a box, right, and then hit H, and that's all hidden. So you can just see that we have the, the legs, and the the bones kind of sticking through. So I'll hit the Z key back to go back into the wireframe and I'll start attaching the mesh to the bones. So we'll start with the boot. So the child is always selected first and the parent selected second. So the boot selected and holding the shift key I select the bone and then to create the, the linkage you hit control P and then you have all these different options here. I'm to set the parent, set the parent with automatic weights. I'm going to do that the same thing for the leg. Control P and for the other boot as well. Control P. With automatic weights. Alright, so if I uh, hit the tab key to go into the bones and I select uh, this thigh here, so I center that a little bit more, and I go into pose mode, I can see now that if I uh, go to the side view here and rotate that up, let's select this bone and rotate it down you can see how the legs bending with the bone, which is what I want. So undo that, and uh, go back to the front view, zoom out a little bit, and hit uh, get out of the pose mode, go to object mode, hit uh, Alt H to reveal the rest of the body, and now we'll attach the upper body to the uh, the arms, the hands, and uh, to the uh, to the bones up there. Okay, select A. All right, start with the body. Then select the bone underneath it. Control P, automatic weights. You can just do the same thing for all the individual bits. Control P. So always make sure you select the mesh first and the bones second. So the mesh first, bones second. Okay, select the neck. Automatic weights, select the head, automatic weights. The last thing we want to do is parent the uh, arm bones to the leg bones. That way whenever I move the hips, the arms will stay in relative position. So select the arms because we want them to be the child, and then select the legs. Control P, and instead of uh, automatic weights, just select object because we don't care about uh, manipulating it. So that uh, should be ready to go at this point. Let's go into the arm bones and test. Mm, hit the tab key to edit it. Let's go into one of the bicep bones here. And uh, hit pose, and then rotate. You can see that the arm's moving appropriately. And then uh,
All right, that's uh, that's all for this video. I just wanted to quickly show you how to link bones to mesh, and uh, the next step it gets fun. We start animating our character for a walk cycle. All right, talk to you later.